Can you work in IT with just a high school diploma or a GED? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions and I'm gonna answer that question for you guys. Can you work in IT with just a high school diploma or a GED? And I am going to give you possibly the quickest answer that I have given in any video maybe ever to date. And that answer is yes, you can. End video, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, just kidding. Yes, you can work in IT with just a high school diploma or a GED. I am living proof of that because if you've seen my past videos where I've answered questions before related somewhat to this, all that I have personally is a GED. That's it, no certifications, no college education, that's it. I've been working in IT for 15 years, so I have tons and tons of experience. Again, IT was a completely different world 15 years ago than what it is today. But is it possible today in 2017 to work in IT with just a high school diploma or a GED? Yes. What's the likelihood of you getting a job with just a high school diploma or a GED? That's hard to say. That's honestly, that's probably one of the hardest things that I can really tell you because if that's all you have, you're not gonna get a job. It's possible, but 90% sure you're not gonna get a job just based on that. You're gonna wanna get experience. How do I get experience if I just have a high school diploma or a GED? You intern, you volunteer, those are great ways to get experience. And there are plenty of places around you, whether you need to travel a little bit or not, whatever, like school districts for one, they definitely love volunteers or internships that you guys can do, where you can go in there and you know you can shadow somebody and you can learn lots of things about IT from them. There's businesses around you where you can reach out to them and they definitely could use help because if you say, hey, I don't want to be paid. Yeah, dude, it sucks. You're not going to be paid, right? I know, but you want that experience. Trust me, because you want to get a job in IT. You're not going to get paid sometimes while you intern or volunteer, but down the road, you will get paid. But anyway, you're going to tell these companies, I don't want to get paid. I just want to volunteer my time and learn some things from your business about IT because I'm really interested in taking that career path. There's lots of places out there who would take you up on that and you would be surprised how many businesses would actually take you up on that. And the thing about that is you're gonna do a lot of grunt work and it's gonna be kind of crappy. You don't wanna do grunt work, but that's really what you're going to do for the most part. There are gonna be times where you're gonna learn some things here and there, but the best thing about doing all of this volunteer and internship stuff is you're gaining experience for your resume. So when you're not doing any of this internship and volunteer stuff, you should be learning on your free time. You should be teaching yourself. You should be going online on YouTube like you are right now and looking into A plus certification. You don't necessarily have to take the certification. You just need to know the fundamentals and the A plus study guides that are out there, Professor Messer for one, he has great material. He will teach you the fundamentals of IT in no time. There's lots of great material he has there where you'll learn lots of great stuff. You know, if that's not something that you're really interested in, you know, you, you can maybe learn some networking stuff, but it's going to be really, really hard for you guys to get anything above a help desk job without some type of degree or certification. So keep that in mind. You are basically limited to a help desk position or like a level one tech position with a high school diploma or a GED and very minimal experience. So you're going to have to teach yourself a lot of things. And once you teach yourself things and you get this experience from your internships or volunteer work and you actually land your first job and you're there for a couple of years, then things start happening. Once you're there at one job for a couple of years, you move to another job for a couple of years and you start growing. You start growing yourself, you start growing your skill set and you can start advancing from there. 
And it's going to take time. It's literally going to take a lot of time. It's not going to be something that's going to be quick and easy. And you might be the like 0.1% of the population who could go out there and get a land a IT job out of nowhere with a high school diploma. It happens. I'm not going to say it does not happen. It absolutely does happen. Weird things like that happen. But be realistic. Things like that don't really happen. You need to be prepared. So I kind of give you, I've given you guys the, the things that you can do to be prepared. You guys can definitely go through all of the videos on my YouTube channel uh, where I answer lots of questions similar to this one right here and really get a feel for the things that you need to do and look forward to doing and it should help you guys. So I kind of hope this answers the question for you guys. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, hit me up in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer whatever I can for you. I greatly, greatly appreciate you guys watching and I love doing this. I do this because I enjoy helping people. That's why I do this YouTube channel. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And um, thanks for watching. As always, take it easy.